Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everybody, and welcome to Deb's 40th World with the Family Affair. And, of course, you see who we're going to be talking about, right? You see, in loud, in color, and T, I had said the perfect thing. I was wondering when he's going to come back to his normal self and stop all this philosophizing and over-talking people, uh, over-talking subjects. Uh over talking subjects with a lot of gibberish and a lot of big words that nobody knows and you just have to go look it up and see what the hell you talking about instead of him speaking in plain english in plain language that we know everyday people know without pulling out the webster dictionary okay but young man young man ti finally came back you remember he made that album or the songs were like motivation. Ain't nothing gonna stop my fire. Ain't something gonna lift me higher. You know, he was grinding when he first came out on the scene. That was a very, very good album. Yes, it was. But then as time went on, he got bigger and bigger in Hollywood. And, you know, in the music industry, he started philosophizing and just lost touch with himself. Okay? Probably lost touch with some other folks too, but it just is what it is. Okay? But he came back today and spoke on his child. And I was like, now that's what I'm talking about. You try to give him whoopings. Well, you ain't leaving scars and scratches and bruises and, you know, memory problems of why you got beat so bad. You know what I'm saying? Because black folks' children used to get uh, whoopings from the neighborhood with certain people having that authority. And then you got a whooping when your mom and or dad came home. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, whoo. And then if you acted up in school, they brought that paddle. So it's almost like you get three whippings in the same damn day. Whoo, that's why, I, I mean, I got I got whipped with paddle sometime, or uh, a couple of times. Because <laughs> I was hanging with the wrong people. No, nah, I wasn't hanging with the wrong people. I was starting shit myself. Or I was defending myself because I ain't like being bullied. And, you know, my mom ain't ever had to come up and take up, um, take up for me. I took up for myself and then they was like, okay, we need to have your parent here. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. So I, was, I was saying through my elementary, high school, well, college days, it didn't really matter because you were grown. So they're going to treat you like a grown, grown person, okay? But yes, don't forget to subscribe, like our YouTube channel. That's you and me, me and family, family fair. Okay, it's both of us. But like, share my videos, okay? Because it's all about family. We, where life begins and love never ends. That's right. Y'all the family, y'all with me. Y'all holding me down, okay? But yes, um, got to always throw that fair use copy stuff in there. Because people always want to, you know, say, you know, well, they ain't never did me that way because... I ain't never brought no story where it was an exclusive, you know what I'm saying? Unless it was one time I did, but it didn't get to get that many hits, so it just is what it is. All right, people, it just is what it is. And sometimes you have to ask sometimes when these uh, people that come out of nowhere or they're, they've been on the scene and then they just started climbing in the social status ring, in the music industry, as well as in the active field, did they sell their soul? Well, let's talk about it. Or can they say, speak on it? Okay, but no, we're going to talk about it over here because that's what the family affair does. We come, we congregate in one section of the house, and we sit down and we chew the fat. Meaning the fat being stories, topics that are being talked about out in the social media world. You know, because a lot of people are not into TV. They don't watch enough movies. And sometimes they uh, just want to get on the tube and find interesting people with great content to uh, entertain them pretty much okay and as you can see i come full-fledged and in charge with giving you entertainment and i ain't asked for you, you to pay for that i ain't asked for no membership but of course in about 
seven more, uh, eight more years, I'm gonna probably ask for all that, God willing. I, I'm gonna get super checks and membership and all that kind of stuff. But I probably won't have a Patreon because I like to give people on one platform. And right now, you know, I got two. I got three. I got another one I'm still working on. Thank you for going over there and subscribe. Make it make sense with the sense being spelled C E N T Z. And then I got one, you know, my main one, which is this one. And then I got one with my daughter. Uh, just the two of us. So we really got to do some taping over there because she's been busy. I've been busy. And we just had to get back with it, okay? Ah, but we're talking about this young man, honey. We want to see him get old one day. But the way he keep moving out in these streets, I'm like his dad. The streets going to teach him a lesson, and he's either going to be in jail or in the graveyard if he keeps going the way he is going. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So, but we got his dad actually speaking on it. Uh, he don't know what to do with him no more. He said he don't gave him all the whoopings that he could possibly have. He, he don't manhandled him. He don't talk to him. His mother don't talk to him. Hell, his sisters and brothers might have talked to him as well. But he's just out there. And uh, see how I pretty much said, a hard head going to lend to a soft behind. And it's going to put his behind in jail. How he know about it? Because, um, see, I said he lived that life. So you don't stop doing a dog call. She's doing a dog call. I hope y'all didn't hear. Uh... That was a that's what she was doing. Come around with her. Y'all go check her out. She's on uh YouTube as Star J Craziness. And she gives y'all a little laugh and chackle cackle and he he ha ha's. But uh yes, um you know he was out there meeting um King and I don't know why he named him King because he sure ain't acting like no king right about now. But you know, when you, you, you get your baby in your arms and you look at him, you just pick up a name or they may have thought of the name um before that you, you want the best for your kids you know what i'm saying it's like why he is, is he trying to learn about the streets when he ain't got to be a part of the streets his daddy and well his mom wasn't in the streets but she's in the music industry prior to i think um ti getting into the music industry so they know about the comings and goings and they try to make a better life for their children well they didn't have to start at the bottom you know, like we started at the bottom, now we're here. We're at the top. You know, that kind of mess. All right, go. I think it was Drake's song, one of his rap song. But that was pretty much uh, where T.I. and Tiny was going with it. You know, we done did all the hard work. You don't have to go do these things. You don't have to beg and, and uh, fetch and step for nobody. We already on the platform where we know people that know people that know people that can pretty much get you in, you know, uh, in the industry if that's where you want to be. But you got to have talent. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if he's lacking talent. And he got to go do all this extra shit. I just don't know. But I'm telling you. Uh, T.I. really said something good. He said, well, I can't, I can't do no more with him. I just keep him in prayer. God going to take care of him. Look after him. If God going to judge him, then let it be. I said, okay, T.I. I said, okay. Now, that's T.I. was talking about. Shazé! I don't know what's wrong with my family today. <laughs> All of them acting crazy. I mean, just because I started my little voiceover talking like Billy Bob John or Billy Bob Joe, she wants to go in and be barking all the, uh, everywhere. I don't know what's wrong with my family. I told you, we're we crazy, honey. Not legally, you know, not mentally. <laughs> but no, sometimes I think we go mentally crazy sometimes. Especially when we get out there in that traffic. I just lose it. Woo! Okay, but anyway. I got a tangent. I got a target. I got a subject. But stay with me, people. I'm going to come with something. I'm going to come with something where we'll connect. But make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And tell people about me. Tell people about me. All right? Uh, so we can blow up together. But anyway, we get it from People Magazine. People Magazine is just jetting off here. They're just talking about in and everybody. They want some smoke. You know what I'm saying? They want to build up their platform. And we're going to give it to them. We're going to give them to them because that's our resource for today. But yes, we got T.I., uh, Angelo. Uh, we just going to call her Angelo. Okay, I can't pronounce her last name. And it don't just me keep trying to uh, pronounce it and try to figure out what these last names are when it's spelled just so... Uh, they're hard to pronounce, okay? But anyway, Angela. Angela wrote this um this um article for People magazine on T.I. and his son. Okay, you bark one more time, I'm gonna get you when you recording, okay? I'm gonna do it. Okay, but we got 
the title of saying T.I. responds to video of Sun King. Did what she she followed it too. See, something just nasty today, y'all. She right now fought in front of her husband's face. I don't know what to tell her. I'll get my clothes downstairs so I can wash them. But y'all don't hear she laugh. I, I like, damn, this house ain't big enough for us. We, we, we I mean, it's a, what was it? It's a hundred and, what is it? I think it was 130,000 when we bought it 25 years ago. And uh, it's probably marketing around 200 something now. But the idea is, the house was big when we first moved in. But God damn, it don't seem like I have enough space to do anything. My child down the hall, c- cackling, kicking, lacking, and trying to fall on folks and bark like a dog. I don't know what the hell going on with her. Okay? But anyway, we're going to get back to this story. Okay? If I can, if I can. Whoo, I'm going to whip some ass if I can get, get from this video. She keep acting that way. Because Mama still will roll on the floor with her. Okay? We're, uh, uh, it's just a mess. Okay, but let me go back. Let me just go all the way back. Got tired of her too. Whew. Okay. T.I. responds to video of Sun King, 18, discussing his arrest. I know that energy. That's right. He came with smoke. I came with smoke. They put him in jail for arms. What is it? Having too many firearms and shit. And some people say he was snitching. You know, snitch get stitches. Snitch get stitches. But it just is what it is. Okay. But he's a rapper mongol out here in Atlanta where we're cornbread fed. All right. (sighs) But it says, um, he said he know that energy. We got a video of King Harris discussing a recent arrest surfaced on social media, prompting fans to reach out to T.I. and wife, Tiny Harris. And yes, T.I., I I think he was going to Memphis yesterday when I caught the video. Hell, I don't know. Because, you know, when I'm looking at videos, I'm thinking it happened that same day. But truth be told, it's going to happen a week later, <laughs> a month later. But, hell, I hadn't covered it, so it's new for me. But, anyway, it seems like he was walking to the airport, uh, maybe going to a concert he was throwing in Memphis, Tennessee. And he was telling folks to stop blowing up his line, blowing up his social media account. He said, y'all don't think I know about my son. <laughs> I'm like, well, T.I., you ain't really did that, so we might think you might be like Stacey Dash over there, living in an alter- uh, altered mental type um, existence, okay? Because we don't know what the hell Stacey Dash being talking about. She didn't, she didn't know DMX passed, okay? And I did a video on that. If you don't remember it, go on over there and check it out. Um, But, yeah, he said, uh, don't, don't tell me what to do with my son. Because I already know my son. He's a hard-headed little boy. He's taken out to his daddy. Hell, I went to jail. I guess he's going to have to go to jail, too. All right? So, it is, it is what it is, pretty much what he was saying. But I'm like, no, nah, T.I., you know we're going to come for you. We always, when our young adults, meaning they're um, in their 20s up to 25, we still have to lean to the understanding. Like, what the hell wrong with your child? Get a hold of your child. Stop all this other stuff. Get them in tech. But from what T.I. said... Hey, he done did what he had to do. He done raised his son. Okay, he done raised him. He, he, well, I'm like, you ain't raised him really yet because he still got that teen on him. And when he turns 20, then we could kind of stop pressing on the gas on the parents because kids do what they want to do when they're out of the eyes of their parents. Not thinking they ain't going to come home. I'm like, damn, he might be trying to get an apartment. But we know because at 18, you still get an apartment. And they sure will give Oh, uh, this young fella won just because of the status of his parents. But they need they don't need to have him by himself, honey. Because we don't want him to come up on no DOA situation. We don't want him to come up on no DOA. Or is it 187? I get confused. But anyway, people be trying to help me to certain calls out there in the streets and stuff. But it just is what it is. But you know DOA is dead on arrival, right? So, he's... he's Hatching, he's hatching, sketching, fetching for that little title. But we hope not. We keep him in prayer, and hopefully, like T.I. said, a soft head will make a, a hard head will make a soft bottom. And if you have to go in the poke it a pin, then let it be. Cause T.I. still got friends up there. He will still probably be taking care well in the pen. Okay, but I'm just saying. Moving on from that, it says T.I. is thanking fans for their concern <laughs> about his son King after the 18-year-old revealed he was arrested. Okay, video showing King Harris discussing his recent arrest appeared on social media on Thursday, along with criticism that the oldest son of the rapper and wife, Tiny Tamika Harris, was proud of spending a brief time behind bars for charges that have not been made pub- ha- have not been made 
known publicly. On Friday, T.I. posted a video to Instagram in which he responded to fans' comments about his son. He goes on to say, I know my son. Think I ain't spoke to my son. Think I ain't told my son. His mama and his grandmama. His ass is going to be in prison if he keeps this shit up. His ass is going to prison. Ain't no way around it. It ain't nothing I'm going to be able to do about it. He continued. All right. That's what, that, that what your man said. That was trouble man, rubber band man that we said, okay. Uh, thank God his other songs ain't turning out. But you know, it's always got to be one rat pack up in there. It's got to be one hard-headed, MFing child that just won't listen, okay. They got to make their way. They got to be on their own. They got to do what they got to do. But you know, he was part of the suburban life. I don't know why you trying to act hard out there. I don't understand. I really don't understand. But anyway, let's listen to what T.I. had to say on his social media platform regarding this particular subject. Hey, top of the top. Top of the top, top of the top. Uh, got a, a minor request. Got a minor request. Hope everybody having a phenomenal morning. Got a small request, man. Uh, Stop hitting me and giving me my comments, telling me what to tell King, okay? I know my son. Think I ain't spoke to my son. Think I ain't told my son, his mama, and his grandmamas. His ass going to prison. If you got damn keep that shit up, his ass going to prison. Ain't no way around it. Ain't nothing I'm going to be able to do about it. Can't nobody stop it but him. You know what I mean? I've already had a conversation. I've already made my peace with it. Because I know that energy. I was that energy. I know exactly how it's going to turn out. Can you? you can. Can I take a selfie with you? No, go ahead. Please, you're I'm in the middle okay. of something. I'm in the middle of something. But go ahead. This is more important. Go ahead. Come on. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah. So, I know I already had that conversation with her, man. King's a good kid. Chasing after the wrong shit. And, uh, you know, I trust in God to deal with it the way that he see fit. You know what I mean? It ain't really shit else. I, you know, he done got all the whoopings. He done got the punny. He done did it. He done, you know, did everything as a child you could do to him. So now, he gonna have to, he gonna have to go through it. He gonna have to go through it and get through it. And ain't nothing me and mama or nobody else gonna be able to say about it, man. But... I'm going to love him all the way through whatever it is he's going through. You know what I mean? Uh, and shit, man. He going to learn his lessons. Life going to, no, you know what I mean? Life is going to teach him all the lessons that he need to know. And that's the, that's, that's, that's the most that we can do. That's the best we can ask for. You know what I mean? I know who he is at his core. You know what I'm saying? This shit that he trying to. You know, he's trying to convince himself of things, as, as we all do as young men and even young women growing up, try to convince ourselves that we are certain things. And in that journey, we find out exactly who the fuck we really is, you know what I'm saying? And it happens when we least expect it, and, and, and our lessons come from where we didn't know they were coming from. And it just ain't, ain't, ain't shit else to do. Ain't shit else to do, man. Time is going to be his teacher. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, I hope everybody have a peaceful, appreciate, appreciate that, bro, a peaceful and productive day. All right? And uh, I'll catch up with y'all on the flip side. Oh, Memphis, I'll be at you this evening. All right. Now, y'all heard what he had to say, and I couldn't have said it better. You know, when you've been down there for your children and you don't talk to your children to not remember uh what you did in the past because that's why you had to go through the hard things so your, your your heirs don't have to do that you could tell them the inside of what it is to be trying to trap money and trying to you know do these things in the street with the agriculture and, and things of that nature so i mean he right he got you gotta let him go gotta let him go let, let him learn his lesson because he ain't a child anymore which to me I think a child should uh, be considered grown when it when they at their parents' house, 
and not necessarily another problem. So I ain't gonna, I'm gonna scratch that one, scratch that one. But uh, when you start having to have to make decisions and your parents can't uh, speak for you, you know what I'm saying? That's when it's time for you to be trying to say, I don't do what I had to do. I can't do no more. I got to live my life now. You know, I did all the crazy stuff. and got all my kids up except for Miss Harris and um, Major. You know, them the only two I think left that are still young and needs their uh, parent, parental guidance looking at them now. So, uh, yeah, pretty much, you know, instead of him getting into the music industry, if that's what he wanted to do, and um, using his dad's connections and blowing up that way, seemed like he wanted to be a part of these streets. But everybody know King ain't like that in them streets. He come from the suburbia area, you know, rich area of town. And he had it by being born into it, of course. But you can't go out here, you know, everybody know you. It ain't like you could do a crime and people ain't going to connect who you are by looking at your face and pictures and stuff. But, like I said, he he, he said the right thing this time. Other time, he'd be up here on top and, you know, philosophizing all this stuff. And he just lose us when he start that shit. But, uh, you know, he spoke facts. He spoke real facts. Ain't nothing. He done gave it up to God. He let God decide how it's going to turn out. And he's going to love his son through each and every part of it. Okay. But uh, going back to the article. It said. Uh, adding that he's already had that conversation. And already made his peace with it. The rapper continued. Because I know that energy. I was that energy. I know exactly how it's going to turn out. And I said. He said the prison system. I said nope. He's going to be DOA. Or he's going to be up in prison like you said. But let's not forget the other thing. Because. People will give you that smoke. You think you're the only one that's out there that can try to, you know, be talking big and bad and, 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 and prove what you're talking about? Guess what? There's always somebody out there that's the same way, and they may be quicker at the draw than you may be. And then what, where it's going to be? Where it going to be? Okay. Going back to the article, it says, after stopping to take a selfie with a fan, he continued, King, King is a good kid chasing after the wrong shit. I trust in God to deal with it the way he sees fit. Nothing or noting that he did everything he could as a parent to address his behavior while raising him. He said that now that King is an adult, uh, well, King is just 18. So, you know, I, I'm different with the laws when they said, uh, you know, your child is grown and can be accounted for doing any crime. They will be looked at as an adult. But when you still got that teen on it, it's like they're still teenagers. 20, <coughs> solid, you don't have that anymore. So it's like you should have got out of your messy ways once you graduated from high school. Some people graduated at 17. Uh, the majority of us graduated at 18. But once you still had that teen, teen, teen on it, I still just feel like there's a little leeway. You, if you do infractions out there, you still should be treated like a juvenile uh, because that teen represents something, meaning teenagers, okay? But... uh. You know, how the law see it, how the laws that people don't made the laws to be. 18 is truly uh, where you distance yourself from your parents. So you don't have to tell them about your medical history. You don't have to, uh, they, you know, say if you had some banking dealings going on. They, if you're not on the authorized patient paperwork or consumer paperwork, you won't, you won't even know nothing about their accounts. Okay. So it's just a cruel thing when it comes to parents, especially when you see them as your child. You know, like me, I always see my child as my child, period, point blank. And she know I got her. You know, we can get street with it. Sometimes we, we be professionally the majority of the time. Sometimes we can't get street. Okay? And y'all see another whole side of the deal. <coughs> when we talking about my baby. Okay? But it's just it's what it is. Okay? But we also chastise our baby, too, okay? When she ain't doing right, we speak the truth. Whether she want to hear it or not, we give it to her. A full dose with no uh, sweetener added. <coughs> but going back to the article, <coughs> it said, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> T.I. vowed to love him through whatever it is that he's going through because he believes his son is trying to convince himself of things as we all do as young men and women. Uh uh, by far as growing up uh, and try to basically he was saying he the, the child is trying to find himself he don't know if he's in the uh, world that T.I. has built f for them and, and all the connections he can use 
or he want to make it on his own or he pretty much got friends up in his face or on his neck talking about you know you ain't this you ain't that you know trying to try him because he do come from a well-off family see what i'm saying so them the ones you should not be worried about okay you should be building your own crew to, to hang with and roll with you know but not picking up no guns not trying to start stuff with people in public not trying to fight because truly if you're going out there being a bully you're going to find a big a bigger bully than you and i'm not talking about size i'm talking about that behavior you know while you sitting up thinking you the cream of the crop trust to believe it's going to be someone already there or somebody that's going to come along later on and knock your block off okay that's pretty much what it is graveyard of the prison system graveyard of the prison system <clears throat> and let's see here um tom is going to be his teacher he concluded and that's all we got on mr ti but definitely definitely um you know he has dejeuner you know he she had ti fucked up on that one we all lost contact with ti and wanted to put him on the mothership and let him sail away okay far far away into the mess with De dejeuner go you know completely you know gone <clears throat> then you know he got Zonique. she's on her own doing her thing uh damani he's 21 barely hear anything from him he's trying to be in the music industry but we don't really know what happened with that hopefully he'll be on the producing side instead of being the artist you get more money that way uh but he seems like he got a good head on his shoulder as well and of course you got air air heiress and then you got um uh major so uh <clears throat> we want to forget that thing about uh her hymen and what he what t.i said that, that boy's crazy sometimes i think he was smoking when he had made that statement but you know we try to get over it and over it and over it you know especially when it's real bad and and, and put him to the side sometime but he definitely came out strong punching the air and, and showing hey he don't did his job you know he brought this child in the world and pretty much if he had to feel like it he, he would want to take him out okay other than somebody else take him out but again you know a hard head make a soft behind Kids got to learn on their own. I don't know why they won't listen to people that don't went through the mess in their family. And, you know, you, you respected them and stuff. But they still want to do what they got to do. Okay. <clears throat> but ending up the article, he said, I feel like it's a lot of stuff he didn't realize when it comes to a young girl's feelings. That's what we're talking about, the Dejeuner thing. So I feel like now he's a little bit more careful. Uh, she said at this time he just goes about everything a little bit differently now def definitely he's more sensitive with everything so yeah uh maybe well uh ti to me he's always knew a situation and knew how he wanted to approach it he just got his hands slapped you know uh when he went too far with trying to you know keep uh dejeuner's uh virginity intact well, I'm like, uh, did you worry about Tiny's virginity at the time? Or you just wanted to do what you had to do, okay? But you married or you wifed her, so it just is what it is. Uh, and that's all we have really much, uh, too much to really talk about the story. It was really um, head on. It was on, on point. And, um, yeah, he got two more of the kids that he got to worry about. And this young man right here, he's considered a, a an adult in, um, the laws that we have in the world but uh yeah just keep him in prayer those who would want to and hopefully hopefully he will see the light uh sooner rather than later that what he's trying to do by messing with the police officers and starting commotion you know in these Atlanta streets that it's just not where it is I'm like, do we still have that scare straight program <laughs> maybe we need to send king to an island well, they ain't got nothing but hardcore uh, people his age and see if he really want to be introduced to that um, that area of learning hard knock lies. Because, huh, you trust and believe if somebody can whoop T.I. ass and he realized that real quick, fast, and hurry. You know, after having certain stinks in the pen and the pokey. Uh, but that's what it is, guys. And um, don't forget to definitely subscribe to the channel, share, and like my videos. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.